design space so you can use it with your Cricut Explorer. So Cricut Design Space is a internet based application so of course you have to log in to Cricut Design Space and then once you're in the design space you have to actually sign in as well as you can see that I'm already signed in. In order to upload your clip art so you can work with it you do have to create a new project and you go to the left hand corner where you have your different um, icons and you click on upload images anyway, as you can see I have a lot of images already uploaded if it's a clip art and it's an image that you're going to upload to do design with you would do the upload image. If it is a pattern paper that you can't already get through the design space, you would upload the pattern fill. But we're going to do an image. So I'm going to click on upload image. Next I'm going to browse to see what image am I going to upload. And once again, I keep my clip art on my desktop. So let's pick one from, let's do a Care Bear. I'll just pick Care Bear one. Let's see what one is. Okay, Chair Bear. How cute. Now once you click on what you want uploaded, it's going to ask you if you want a simple image is it a moderately complex image or a complex image? And that just depends on what you're uploading. Um, I'm going to say this is a complex image because I want every single detail around the Care Bear cut out. Most of the images I upload I say is a complex image. And once you click on how you want to upload it, you can go down and you hit continue. It's going to show you the image again in another format. This is your opportunity to do any edits or erase anything. Click on an area where you don't want it to cut out. As you look at the background behind the Care Bear, anything that is this checkered background is not going to print out or cut. Is gonna cut anything that is around the colored. So if there is a line over here and you don't want that cut out, you come up to the left and you use one of these tools. This first one is, of course, crop. Then there's a select and erase, so that gives you a little one that you can select little certain areas. And then there's a bigger one. Of course, there's our eraser. When you click that, you can erase whole big areas. This is exactly how I want it to cut out, though. It already gets rid of the PNG transparent background. That's what all these checkered squares is to get rid of that background. So I'm going to hit continue. Now it's taking the image and going to create it as a print and save which is how I want my image to be a print and save you can also bring different images in if you buy a clip art that's a SVG image you can save it as a cut image but this is going to be a print and save image so that's exactly where it's checked off as you can see if I did the save as a cut image it's only going to cut the outer edge. So I keep this one highlighted green and checked. And I go down here and I hit save. Once it saves to your design space, it will always be there. You'll have to get the image through the uploaded images in order to work with it but it will already be uploaded and into design space. The edging will always be off for you. It's already done it when you upload into it. So anytime I click on the Care Bear into 
design space, that's what it's going to look like. And here it is, uploaded, it's the last one I uploaded. So if I actually wanted it in design space to work with the image, I would click on it till it turns green and you can see it's down here, it's going to go in. And you sp click insert image. And voila, there it is in design space. And you can stretch it out and make it however you want and put it in whatever. Of course with the print and cut, which is how I uploaded it, as you can see over here on the right hand sign with the little printer, that's how I know it's a print and cut. There is size limitations currently to printing and cut, so depending on what I am using will tell you how big I can make this image. I think I can make it up to six inches right now. And there I have how to upload clip art into the Cricut Design Space so you can use it on your Explorer.